now let's get to the topic for today, exploring your soul purpose. And I think that in one of the um, podcasts that I listened to, and I think you explained soul purpose as having makeup by soul contribution and soul correction. Can you kind of explain that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go back a little bit. So, you know, I mentioned in this journey to understand the soul, I went to all these different places. And so let me first give you what I believe to be the best definition of the soul. Most of you know what that is, at least colloquially. But this was my question. Why was I never taught about the soul? What is this, you know, mysterious thing called soul? My favorite answer to that question of soul, since we're about to talk about soul purpose, is it actually came from a Mexican shaman named Fernando Broca. And he said that the soul is composed of two parts. The first part of the soul is that which connects us to everybody and everything. So our interconnectedness. The second part of the soul is our uniqueness, that which encompasses our unique set of talents, skills, interests, abilities, experiences, what we bring into the world that nobody else can. And so the two parts of the soul are at once our interconnectedness and our uniqueness. So now what is your soul purpose based on that? Your soul purpose, just like you said, I believe is composed of these two parts, your soul contribution and your soul correction. The soul contribution is a pretty straightforward concept. It's what your soul has come to this world to contribute. What are you meant to do for humanity? What are you meant to do for the world? How are you meant to share your talents, abilities, interests, that which makes you completely unique? in the world to help elevate human consciousness, to help further evolution, to help do something good in the world, to help be a part of something, to help raise wonderful children, whatever your soul purpose is. And for everybody, it's different things, right? That's the first part. And then your soul correction, that's a slightly different and a little bit of a more complicated concept. That concept actually comes from Kabbalah. And your soul correction is that which your soul has come into this world to correct. In Kabbalah, they call that idea tikkun. And you can know your soul correction through a few questions. Number one, what is the greatest source of pain in your life? Often your pain, your biggest pain, is what your soul has come to correct. Another way to think about it, what is that thing that keeps coming up in your life again and again and again, often much to your chagrin and dismay, and despite your best efforts to change it? That is also your soul correction right? And for everybody, it's different. For some people, their soul correction is in the realm of relationships, having a healthy, stable relationship, and all their pain comes from not being able to do that. For other people, they have no problem with relationships, easy breezy. What they have trouble with is finding a meaningful career that they're able to make a true contribution and that feels fulfilling to them. And for other people, it's having resources, like having money, something like that. And for other people, it's anxiety. And for other people, it's addiction. Like those are all some examples of people's soul corrections. They're all different. And so your soul purpose is at once making that contribution, figuring out what am I meant to do in this world? But also your soul correction, what am I meant to overcome? And once you have those two, what am I meant to contribute? And what am I meant to overcome? Then you can understand why you're really here. Mm 